hit areas was definitely northern Alabama. News 5's Melissa Constanzer gives a look back at the tornado outbreak of April 27, 2011. It's before sunrise and thunderstorms are lighting up the sky in northern Alabama. That is a 70 to 90 percent chance of significant tornadoes. Meteorologists were calling for a stormy day with the bullseye centered over northern Alabama, a high threat for tornadoes. But even with the risk, it was hard to imagine all that was to come. Look how big that thing is. Back up. Turn the car around, Joel. There's two of them. The radar showed not one, not two, but three lines of storms. The satellite shows the system starting back near Arkansas. Strong winds high up in the sky pushed it further towards the east. Ahead of it, warm, moist air streamed north from the Gulf of Mexico. This created wind shear. The different directions in the wind helping create rotation for the tornadoes. Loud, loud noise. Uh, a train couldn't hold a candle to it. It was, it was tremendous. Uh, and that's a small word to use. By day's end, almost 200 tornadoes touched down, 62 of them in Alabama. Can't describe it. A movie can't describe it. It's just a, just a big empty hole. 234 people in Alabama were killed by tornadoes. Four other states also had deaths. The total loss, 316 people. This is going to be a very, very long process. The amount of damage that is seen is beyond a nightmare. I don't know if I've ever seen in, in, my, in my life anything as destructive and as tragic as what has transpired in Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa was one of the hardest hit cities in Alabama. It looks like that slab has been wiped clean. With an EF-4 touching down on the south side of the city. An EF-5 tornado cleaned houses off foundations in Hackleburg. $4.2 billion in damage, all from the most costly and perhaps the most catastrophic day of tornadoes in U.S. history. Meteorologist Melissa Constanzer, News 5.